Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. You're probably wondering what the hell am I doing? This game here is called Don't Start, as you can see. Anyway, I am going to do a let's play of this. And anyhow, what I'm going to do is going to be perfectly vanilla. There's no mods. I'm not going to use any characters and I'm going to customize the world. I'm just going to start. So, let's get busy not starving. Generating the world. Creepy, huh? But yeah, that's the thing in the darkness that kills you if you stay out after dark. Uh, you need a campfire to stay safe. Oh, yeah, I don't trust this guy. I mean, he's got a chiba for a voice. How much, how much more can you be able to transform? I think that's it. Just screams devil to me. As you can see, I'm picking saplings here. The reason I'm picking saplings is because when I find flint, I can make myself some tools. I'll need an axe for cutting down trees and getting firewood so I can survive at night without being killed by the thing in the darkness. Oh, sweet! Lots of rocks. That means gold, that means rock walls, that means all sorts of good stuff. Okay, spiders. I'm looking for flint currently. There we are. One flint. Two. This may seem strange. I'm doing a pickaxe first. You're probably wondering, why the heck are you doing a pickaxe first? Because... You don't get flicked by chopping down trees. Uh, I should explain the difference between the boulders. Hey, graveyard. Um. Yeah, fog indicates a graveyard. But anyway, these rocks I'm just mining only drop flint, nitre, and rocks. These ones can drop gold. These tall ones. As you can see, gold is used for sciencey stuff, which is really important. You need better tools to survive, especially when winter rolls around. One axe. Uh, let's pick another sapling. Sap, you're sappy, sappy sapling. There you are. Aha, uh -huh, basalt pillar. But anyway. Okay, well, mind this. Yeah, this is permadeath. Well, unless you make a meat effigy or find a touchstone. Touchstones are randomly generated structures around the world which revive you at them if you die. Nothing there. I tend to do a lot of mining. I want a nice place with rock walls. You cannot mine basalt, as you can see. I like the way that they're voices are like trumpets and piccolos and stuff. That's kind of cool. I'm going to switch to woodcutting when it gets to dusk. You do not want to be in the darkness after dark. Because A, you can't see a blast thing. And B, there's always, always a monster in the darkness. You can't kill it. You can't see it. It just kills you. Which may come across as unfair, but that's just kind of the part of the gameplay. Like I said, this is uber hardcore. One life. No instructions either. I've played a little bit of this, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I'll mine one more rock. I'm hoping to get up to seven gold so I can make myself an alchemy engine. So I can make myself rock walls and stuff. Yeah, good. There's scientific advancement you have, your science engine, then you have your alchemy engine. And whilst I've never been able to make it, the shadow manipulator. Which adds, gives you like the top tier science stuff, which is cool. But I've never managed to get that far. Ah, berries! You need food. As you can see, you get hungry. That's your hunger bar. And also, there's your sanity bar. You go insane, bad things start happening. 
it is probably should be super obvious. Now for fire, I need to pick some dried grass. Because that's why I need to start the fire. I also need logs as fuel. So let's chop down this big old tree. Oh yeah, and there's dur lots of durability issues. Your tools aren't too durable. I mean, you just made them out of flint and sticks. For crying out loud. Ooh, seeds up there. Let me just get them. Seeds are food as well. Just eat that. Stave off hunger a little bit longer. What I want to find... This is a rocky land. Well, that's good. All very well and good. For rocks, it's not very good for food. What I want to find is a savannah. Because those places are, places are literally hopping with rabbits. So let's go south and uh, find a nice bunch of rocks and do some nighttime mining once I've got my campfire going. Ah, I can actually make a fire pit, but I'm not going to because I'm not going to settle down here. Like I said, it's not got enough of a food supply. Oh, or some more dry grass. Give me some dry grass. Uh, more seeds, more food, less hungriness. I said eat the blooming seeds, not examine the stupid pine cone. <sighs> stupid. Oh god, I'm just going to find the dried grass and then just sit. I'm not going to even bother moving to the boulders. Come on, come on, come on, I don't want to die on the first episode of my Let's Play, that would be so embarrassing. This is bad. Really, really bad. I might have to make a fire pit. I don't want to settle down here, though. Fire pit's kinda tied to an area. Ah, saved. Hmm, just in my time. Wood cutting, although I will have to be careful about that, because if you aren't, you can cause a forest fire. Yes, I said forest fire. They're devastating, but it's the only way you get sure cool, so... <laughs> In the morning... Ah! Continue, I don't know why I hit that by accident. I'm gonna continue following this trail here. I may eventually come back to these rocky lands for a mining expedition, but... Right now, they're not very useful. Yeah, that's not very nice of you. Well, son... Me plot of marsh shouldn't be any tentacles. You never can tell. My turret used to make gunpowder. Gunpowder used to kill stuff with style. Yeah, night isn't too long, but what I want to find is a savannah, as I've already said, which are literally hopping with rabbits, but I forgot to mention their other main feature beefaloes. You might be thinking, Dude, they're called buffaloes, but no, they're called beefaloes in this. Because, you know, they're beefy. But they also give you manure, which is used to make farms, which are used to not get killed by starvation. They're there so you don't starve. They're awesome. You don't get all the recipes to start with, you don't know all the recipes, which makes sense. Oh yeah, savannas are literally covered in dried grass, so which is good. Sleep door, fire door, blue door. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I've tried them out in the past. They are hilarious. Oh, and it's morning. Let's get moving. Oh, no, you can't extinguish fires. Besides, what's the point? You're the only person in this wilderness. The heck is this? That doesn't look like a proper road. No, it's just a bit of weirdness. Huh, weird. Oh! Darn it, I didn't mean that. Where's the trail? Uh, I've missed it completely. Let's make this rock. I need that gold! Yeah, the music in this is absolutely amazing. Is that sort of creepy to 
Killzone that he needs. This is one of the best survival games. Heck, I think it might even be better than Minecraft. Don't kill me for that, but I seriously think it is. There's no terraforming apart from when you destroy something, it's gone. You can't like change the shape of the land. You can't change what the land looks like, I mean. That's good. Uh but you can like pick up bits of turf and plant them elsewhere. If I had a shovel, I'd dig those up. Cause there's all sorts of goodies in graveyards. Does that just go around in a big loop? It does. Damn you. Well, so much for my plan of following the trail. I'm on Savannah. I need that food. Ooh. That's actual proper marsh. Whoa, crap, tentacle. Yeah, tentacles are nasty. Yeah, you don't want to get on the wrong side of that thing. Now that is a wormhole. Jumping through it degrades your sanity because it's somewhere else. You know what? I'm going in. Don't worry, it doesn't damage you at all. So, this isn't like a Sarlacc pit will just kill you. Not a same thing to- Oh my god! That is just what I wanted. Just south of my original spawn point. See, this place is literally hopping with rabbits, so I just need to make some trappy traps. And I have dinner! Explore this. Ah, this is a tiny savanna. There's no beefaloes. Well, that sucks. Pick some grass. There we go. Let's go this way. Ooh, what the heck is... Ooh. Oh my god, he had a fire staff! It's weaponry sorted. I feel like might set fire. Ah, like that. Ah, isn't that just beautiful? Thank you, skeleton, for providing me with your fire staff. Ah, nice. <laughs> burn! Burn! Oh, it's set me on fire. And there we have some food. Okay. Random axe, random boars. Not complaining. <laughs> He's setting everything on fire. That's hilarious. Oh, wow, that sucks. He didn't die and make me a nice... Oh, he did! Right, now that. So the morsels are okay. Food-wise. Burn! <laughs> I love this staff. Oh, what? No food? That's not good. Okay. Hmm, well, I suppose I could all explore, right? This place is good, lots of flowers. I mean, I can regain sanity. Yes, I said flowers and sanity in the same sentence. Picking them restores sanity, and with making a garland to wear on your head, gradually restores sanity. Oh, uh... You can also eat petals to restore health. But they only, like, give you one health back, which is... Really no good. Mm hmm This might be a nice yeah, it's a nice enough place to settle down. Mm, a bit of food, carrots. Bees, now that's good. Ah, 
burn. Ay, ay, ay. Yo, we pam. Just burned to death already. I want some cooked honey. Ooh, uh, run away. They are. They're not killer B levels in Partinus, but. They are painful. Just die already. Thank you. Ashes can be used to make hit point restoring stuff. Which is kind of important. Yeah, these three bars are hunger, sanity, and health. Ooh, those bees hurt. Mm -hmm. Choppy choppy tree. Let's make a science bench. Which allows you to discover new things. Including the alchemy bench, which then... Allows you to discover even more things. And then the shadow manipulator, which allows you to discover everything. Rocks. So let's build the machine. Yeah, the shadow manipulator, see? So let's refine. I know you can't carry any more stuff. Jeez. Let's go plant this. Stuff. I like planting trees around my base to disguise it. Yeah, let's drop it. I can't carry any more stuff. I said drop the blind pine cone. Get another couple of logs. I want that alchemy bench. Yeah, Rocky Land is a nice place to start in. Oh, my tree just died. I was going to go cut it after I made this. And. and uh, survival. Healing salve, yeah, like I said, take spider plants up. And I don't exactly want to risk that. Oh, heat stone, they, they are handy for winter. Rope, yeah, let's make some rope. Razor, yes. Chest. Yeah, let's go lobs. Oh wait, I do want a shovel for digging up stumps. Yeah, if you dig up stumps, you get a log. Which is handy. And I'll get through the annoying stumps. Which is really handy. Ooh! Is that we snack? Get away from my seat, you! You know what? Get lost. Oh, no, oh, yes, I'll have it. Let's just kill this thing. Let that be a lesson to you who eat my seats.
Sorry for my humming and annoying. It probably is. And all my trees growing up, I'll have a nice big barrier of trees, which hopefully I won't set on fire. Chest, so I don't have to carry everything. There was something I was actually hoping I find, but I didn't, so don't mention it. Call this Operation Codename Morsel. Start doing some serious surviving. Oh, pick that up. Eat it. Blood Oh, they perished in the fire. Dee. Nine. How much does it take to make a garland? Twelve. Well, I'll get the most of here. Should really head back to base camp. And set a trap. So when he comes out in the morning, it's a case of snap. Rabbit, I'm a num a num. Might come across as a little cruel, but oh well. Let's have some fuel to the fire. That's fine. Oh wait, ah, darn it. Just noticed out the last second they had seats. Darn it. Not drop it. Oh, there's seats behind that tree. And the cut grass. And the twigs. That's the kind of fire I like. Bright idea. You know what? Just for winter, I'm gonna make it and then store it so I can walk about in winter more easily. It's never gonna know what hit it. <laughs> Red bird feather. I think you combine that with a stinger and something else, and yeah, and you get f uh, no, not stinger, charcoal. I do have charcoal somewhere. What is that annoying buzzing noise? It's B, obviously. Where is it coming from? Ah, oh, nice. It heats up in my chest. So when I finally take it out, it'll be nice and toasty warm. It might make the chest glow, but still. After a few days, Wilson grows a beard. I can get, get, get quite long, but you shave it for beard hair, which you can burn. Yeah, 
Yeah, farming's a good way to survive, but you need beefaloes. To find in savannas. These are the most pathetic savannas I've ever seen. Oh, I'm going to go back to the graveyard. There's all sorts of goodies in those graves. And it's morning! I'm gonna find two more flowers. One. Give me your honey! How can that restore sanity? I really don't get it. Oh yeah, good point. Just nose to the rabbit hole and... Yeah, I'm gonna go check my traps. They might have caught something. In which case, I have breakfast. Nothing there. Or there. Oh, damn it, I'm so hungry! Potential for a lot of killer bees. Right, this one's a, there's one away from the hive on its own right there. Not exactly on its own. But... Ah, honey! Ah, because I attacked him. Now there's killer bees after me! The red bees are killer bees. They hurt an awful lot more. Well, I'm gonna get back to base camp and call it at that. This is my first episode of my Don't Starve Let's Play Ultra Hardcore. Oh, good the rabbity goodness! Let's go cook this sucker and call it at that. Up. Cook morsel and some honey to wash it down. Lovely. I'm just gonna cut this tree, then I'll call it. Cause I need fuel for tonight. Don't have really much in the way of fuel. Ah, lovely. I can put all, put all on the fire tonight. But that's it for episode one. We got halfway through, half day through day four. This is episode one of the Don't Starve. I'm just gonna grab that. Mm. Stupid Wilson. Anyway, farewell, my friends. Wilson will miss you. Bye.